Hello and welcome to Bible with Bernie. I'm your host. And today we're going to read Psalm 82. Let's open a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for this word. Father God, we ask you to bless it to our bodies. Help us to digest it and apply it to our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, praise God. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Praise the Lord. All right, so let's look at verse 8. Let's talk about good judgment today. Amen. This, this lesson is a short lesson, but it's about good judgment, and it's something we need to be mindful of. Uh, look at verse 8. God Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Amen. God is the judge of the entire earth, and he's going to judge us someday, thank God. Look at verse 2. Verse 2, how long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Hey, you know, God expects us to make good decisions, to have good judgment. Amen. Now, there are, this, this does apply, this lesson does apply to judges in general. You know, that they're supposed to be honorable and be mindful of God and make decisions that are based on holy precepts and based on his laws. But of course our 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 system of law they've they're up they're all upside down now on, on what they what they do and how they treat people. But look at verse three. Look at verse three. Defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. Hey, Think about this, how it applies to your life. Are you mindful of the Lord when you're in position to help the poor and the needy? Amen? Because the court system, they think helping the poor and the needy is putting them in jail and keeping them there. Um, you know, in many cases. But let's, let's look at verse 5. Look, look, look at verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. You know, do we fear God? Do we really fear God? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. And do we apply his wisdom to our lives? Bad judgment would be forgetting God's laws, amen, and committing sinful acts. I mean, you know, I love, I like living in the United States, you know, but since by that since I can remember back in the 80s, um, you know, how I, re I remember how things were in the 80s, 90s, and I look at things how they are now, and I can see that our judges and our, you know, and our and our law system, they've what have they done? They got rid of prayer, right? First thing they did, took, pulled prayer out of schools. Second thing, uh, you know, re removed the Ten Commandments. Right? And everything went downhill after that. And that's what we can do in our own lives. If we take away our prayer, if we quit praying to God, if we quit, you know, uh, being mindful of his laws, hey, those laws still apply. We're not free to sin. Amen? Look at verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Praise the Lord. We are God's children, and we... And we'll be obedient or rebellious. We're either going to rebel against God or we're going to be obedient. You know, let's remember 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6. 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6. But to us there is one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. Praise the Lord. You know, he's our God. We have the opportunity to live forever with him. 
if we're obedient. Look at John 1, verse 12. John 1, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them who believe on his name. Well, praise the Lord. That's exciting. So let's, let's close in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word, Lord God. We ask you to bless it to our bodies. Let us have good judgment today, Lord. Let us apply your word to our lives. and Let us never separate ourselves from you. Let us, let us always focus on you. Lord, let the United States turn back to you, Father, and, and, and put the Ten Commandments back and, and put prayer back in school and, and turn away from all this sinful, the sinful things we do in our court systems, Lord. We ask you to help uh, President Trump and help him be mindful of your word and to do the things that please you, we pray, and make decisions based on your word, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Keep on serving God. Keep on reading this word. Keep on being mindful of his laws. Amen.